G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and I'm about to go for a bit of a trail ride here. You know, in uh, lockdown, we can't haul our horses out to state parks and stuff like that. And so I've been taking Bundy out here, trail riding around our neighborhood here recently. And so what I thought I'd talk about today is common problems that people have when they're trail riding. And usually those problems are horses rushing home or horses refusing, you know, stopping, rearing up, wanting to spin, wanting to turn around, run home, won't go forward, all those things when you're out trail riding. And so I'm gonna show you a way you can go about teaching horses how to trail ride. So this is not trail riding, this is teaching them how to trail ride um, without going beyond threshold. Because when those horses are wanting to rush home like that, all those horses are stopping, rearing up, all those sorts of things, you're over their threshold of what they can handle. And so what you can do, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm doing it already, is this is a version of something that I've used for a long time I call the 50 foot trail ride. But you might notice I started here in my trail ride and I went for a bit of a walk. And I was talking to you guys and I didn't get terribly far in my trail ride my horse hasn't decided to go home yet. And then what did I do? I turned around and went home. And the, and the thing that horses do when they, they want to go home in the trial ride is they're thinking, I'm just getting too far from home. They're getting further and further away, further and further away from the place that they're comfortable. And so what you can do is just start out, go, you know, like I said, I sometimes call this the 50 foot trial ride even though it's a different version of what I used to do for the 50 foot trial ride. So I went about 50 feet the first time. The second time I went about 60 feet. The third time I'm gonna go about 70 feet and I'll turn around and go back home again. And what you'll find is the further you go out, the less you'll have to, initially you'll have to turn back a lot to stay on the threshold. But when they start to get to where they are pretty sure, hey, anytime I'm gonna to get to go back home anyway, they don't, they don't start to get all concerned about it. Um, it's really, really simple. It's a simple exercise and it's very easy for your horse to do and it's very easy for your horse to do with one exception is your outlook. So let's say I was going for a one hour trail ride and I'm heading out of my one hour trail ride right now. I would consider this bit here part of my trail ride, wouldn't I? Okay. And let's say I go for a one hour trail ride and I turn around and I come home and I'm walking along here. My trail ride's not finished yet, is it? It's not finished till I get home, okay? And so when I'm here, I'm still trail riding. And when I'm here, I'm trail riding. What you have to do in this exercise is be in the moment and be present and not think, oh, I don't want to do this crap. I want to go for a trail ride. What you have to realize is you are going for a trail ride. If you were going for an hour long trail ride and you were here, as you started out, you wouldn't be thinking, can't wait to get on my trail ride. I am on my trail ride, okay? When you're coming home, same thing. So what you've got to be able to do to do this exercise well, here, I'll show you something else I do to help with this too. If there's grass available out here, at the end of one of my little loops, before I turn and go home, I will stop and let them eat the grass. It gives them a reason to want to come back out next time. Um, so what you've got to do is you have to be present. You have to be in the moment. When you're there, you're there. When you're there, you're there. When you're there, you're there. Not, oh, well, this is not a trail ride unless I get to the top of that hill because otherwise you will tend to have some frustration. Your energy will be completely different. You'll be like, I just want to get this out of the way so I can go for a trail ride. And your movements tend to become jerky. Your, your, everything becomes a bit tighter. And your energy is completely different. Instead of like, hey, we're having a great time, we, you tend to have that tight nervousy energy there. So just try this and uh, you know, you might spend half an hour the first day getting from my gate to my mailbox right there, okay? But then the second day, it might take you five minutes to get there and 20 minutes to get up there, but pretty soon you'll be able to go go out and back and it won't be a big deal but the big thing is if your horse is rushing home jigging, and prance and doing all those things if your horse is freezing napping what they call it in certain places and doesn't want to go out there you you've gone over your horse's threshold and recently i've been talking about good leaders only ask yes questions if you ask your horse to do something he can't do and you're going to know that erodes their confidence in you and doing this right here gives your horse a lot of confidence in you 
and also gives your horse a lot of confidence that I'm going to be able to get to go back home quite soon. So if you're out trail riding or if you have any trail riding issues, um, give this little exercise a try. But like I said, the big thing you're going to do is you've got to change your perception of what's going on. And you've, you've got to realize I am trail riding. Don't think of this as training. Think of this, I'm trail riding. And like I said, you'll be able to go further and further, further out there. And pretty soon you'll be out there having the trail ride you've always wanted on a happy, relaxed horse. So happy trail riding. Mm -hmm.